Hello class. Today we are going to learn how to make it multiply. If Amy had three cats and each one of them had four legs, how could we find how many legs all of the cats had? So you got three cats, each with four legs. So we're going to add a four three times because three cats, four legs. That equals 12 legs. This is sort of a complicated way of learning how to multiply. Another way to, to figure out the answer is to multiply. Multiplication is a fast way to add equal numbers. Since all three cats have four legs, instead of adding them together, we could just multiply three times four. Three cats, four legs. And your answer would still be 12 legs. How many legs altogether would two boys have? So now we have two boys, two legs each. Can you think of a multiplication problem that could show this? So two legs times two boys, you end up with four legs total. If a box, if a crayon box holds seven crayons, how many crayons would two boxes hold? So we have seven crayons and one, two boxes. Can you think of a multiplication problem that shows this example? Seven crayons times two boxes equals 14 crayons. If every teacher has three books, and there are five teachers. How many books do they all have? So you have three books and five teachers. Can you think of a multiplication problem that shows this? Five teachers times three books equals 15 books. If every desk has one apple and there are nine desks, how many apples are there in all? Can you think of a multiplication problem that shows this? This one's very simple because any time you take a digit and you times it by one, it's going to equal the first digit. For example, one apple and nine desks equals nine apples. Multiplication involves sets of objects. Can you write a multiplication problem for these sets? For example, you have five sets of two each. So we have five sets of two fishes. So how many fish are there? Five times two equals ten. We have three sets of four each. Well, now we're dealing with these. So we have three, three sets. Four beats. So 3 times 4 equals 12. Now we have 3 sets of 3 each. We have at least 3 people in each band. Then we have 1, 2, 3 bands. So 3 times 3 equals 9. Altogether there's 9 people. Now we have 4 sets of each. Four sets of two each. So four times two equals eight. Here we have six sets of three monkeys. So can anyone think of an example for this? If so, please write it on your paper. Three times six equals eighteen. So all together there's eighteen monkeys. Here we see five sets of four oranges. So we would do what? Write down what you think. Okay. Five times four, therefore we have 20 oranges. On your paper, draw sets to represent each of the following multiplication problems. Then solve the problems. Click to find the answer. We have 2 times 9 
5 times 5, 8 times 1, 5 times 1, 4 times 0, and 6 times 4. Please pause the video while you try to answer these So for 2 times 9, we're going to do 2 sets of 9 oranges, for an example. Therefore, you have 18. Here we have 5 sets of 5 oranges, which equals 20. Here we have 8 times 1. We have So this is a problem like I was saying before. Anytime you have a digit multiplied by 1, it equals your first digit. For example, you have eight oranges, one set. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's always going to equal your original number when you're multiplying by one. For example, here's another. We have five times one, so our answer should equal five. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five. When you have 4 times 0, or any number times 0, your answer is always going to be 0. Here we have 6 oranges and 4 sets. So, 6 times 4. Take a moment to figure that out. Your answer should be 24. If you would like to rewatch this video and practice again, please do. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys have a nice day.